So in this video, our topic will be about communication and globalization. And after this video, I hope that you'll understand communication and globalization. And you'll be empowered by the power of global communication. So the positive impact of globalization. Also, that you'll be aware of the disadvantages of media and technology. So the positive and the negative impact of globalization. In the first videos, I have explained what is communication, right? The first few videos are about communication. So we discussed the communication process, perspectives in communication, barriers to effective communication and principles of communication so i hope that you were able to listen and understand the previous videos because it will help you in the later discussions that we will have in this course okay to give a short review communication is the process by which information your knowledge and ideas is exchanged by either words symbols signs and body language so that is communication and one needs to have good communication skills this is our goal in this course for purposive communication the goal is by the end of this course you'll have good communication skills and when you say good communication skills um if you have good communication skills, you'll be able to communicate effectively. So how will we know if you are effective in communication? It means that you're able to send messages with these eight, eight qualities. You are able to send concise, clear, correct, concrete, complete, courteous, coherent, and creative messages and this message is clearly heard and understood by the receiver and how are we going to know if it's cl clearly heard and understood by the receiver the receiver provides the appropriate feedback so basically this is our goal for this course and every discussions that we will have is geared towards this goal importance of communication do you know what is the importance of communication? Do you communicate every day? So what is human relationship without communication? How can we interact and understand each other living here on earth if there is no such way of communication? We even have created a way to communicate with plants and animals, right? Communication is the foundation of any relationship, humans, animals, plants, and even the cosmos. It enables us to express our emotions, our feelings, as well as our knowledge and ideas. Unsa na lang ta kung dili ka express atong emotions, especially to the person that we love, right? This very act of teaching is, actually, is also communication. There is an exchange of information from me, your teacher, and to you, the students. We learn from each other because we will be communicating with each other in different forms. It's via email, messages, calls, and your um, exam results. So communication develops relationships. It's either romantic relationship, familial relationship, friendship, business relationship, etc. Therefore, its importance cannot be underestimated. That's how important this subject is. And it's either you be good at it or be bad at it. Your choice. Because you know, if you're good at communication, you'll likely be good at somehow everything. So we have already understood what communication is. Now, we'll discuss globalization and how does it affect our communication so globalization is the state of being globalized that is from miriam webster dictionary when we say globalized it means to make global or to make international influence or operation or being able to communicate around the world it is a process of interaction and integration among people 
within companies and governments of different nations. So different nations, Philippines, China, United States, um, um, Taiwan, etc. A process driven by international trade and investment. So this is actually the main goal of globalization, international trade and in investment. So business purposes and aided by information technology. So that's one of the reasons why we are able to communicate with different nations. So that's actually for business purposes. And this process has effects on environment and prosperity and on human physical well-being in societies around the world. So even if the goal is for trade and investment, but of course, our totality has been affected. Globalization is the word used to describe the growing interdependence of the world's economies. When we say interdependence, meaning they are not dependent to each other, but they are interdependence. They are not totally dependent, but they're like sharing with each other um, of the world's economies, cultures, and populations brought by the cross-border trade in goods and services, as well as technology and flows of investment, people, and information. So that's the globalization. We are being able to, we are able to connect with the all the people around or across the globe. Globalization on communication. Connecting with people on the other side of the world is now much easier than it was a few years ago because of satellites, fiber optic cables, and the internet. And internet make it effortless to share information with those in different time zones and locations, right? We have our social media. Any time of the day, we can post it or we can post everything on Facebook. And the receiver of that me message is not just in our, not our, not just our own family, especially if you public post it, Everyone can see it if they'll search it. So all the people around the globe has access to it. Globalization creates a global communication system reflecting the new reality. This is the new reality where everybody is connected to everybody and everybody depends on and is responsible for everybody. So that is globalization on communication, how it affects. Before, it's munang ang magkauyabay ra kay silingan because they don't have any ways to communicate with other nations or other cities. But now, relationships are across the board because we have access to communication to all over the world. So, dili na, it's not any more limited, Right? So that is one of the effects of globalization. And the impact of globalization and global communication to us. So what is its impact? In this slide, we will be discussing the positive effect of globalization and global communication. So in the first impact is it increases the business opportunities, right? You, um, you may, you may um, experience it in your own household. Maybe you have a friend or a family member who's working at home, but her or his clients are from abroad. Thanks to global communications, information itself can be transferred as a valuable business asset from one country to another. The, it makes everyone's operation more modern and efficient, regardless of where they are located wherever you are in the country or in the globe. The technology makes it easier to connect. Another, so, so because of that, many companies today hire employees that are located in other countries. That's why here in the Philippines, the BPOs or business um, product operations. So uh, the workers are from the Philippines or India, and the main office is really in the United St States or in Europe. Also, because communication vehicles such as video calling or sending emails, it's, it's easier. Even you, when there's meeting, you can conduct meeting through video call, calling from different nations as if you are just in one room. So that's how powerful the technology is. And also, you can you can sell online, and your customers could be from different 
different um, from different countries because the suppliers and customers connect through the internet. So the communication technology is very helpful in the business in business opportunities. It improves the economic outlook and in a global level. Another importance or impact is that there are fewer cultural barriers. So when we say culture, this is our um, culture is could be a different language, different ways of life, different ways of living. And it is said that many people perceived culture to be the root of communication challenges. When people from different cultures try to exchange information, the way they speak, their body language, or their mannerism can be interpreted differently by other person. The way people approach problems and how they participate in communities is all influenced by culture. So globalization has made it possible, for example, for someone in Japan to understand how someone in the U.S., goes about their day. So thanks to the television and movies, cultural barriers are becoming less prevalent. Being able to communicate effectively and frequently with colleagues or friends across the planet helps people understand each other's cultures a little better. So if we understand the different cultures from different countries, we understand them and we don't judge them because we know communication our perception affects our communication. And so since we are aware of their culture, we understand them instead of judge them. The third impact is the creation of a global village. I don't, I don't know if you're familiar with the phrase global village, but it is coined by theorist Marshall McLuhan. It's affected, both, it, affected by both globalization and global communication. The global village is created when distance and isolation no longer matter because people are connected by technology. So the widespread of telephone and internet access have been life-changing for many people across the world, especially those in de developing countries, especially the countries like the Philippines. We um, being away from our family is not a problem anymore because we can communicate to them with our smartphones and we can even see them real time so many are also now enrolling in universities across the world without having to leave their desk chair so take me as an example i've enrolled myself in one of the courses in stanford university before it it's it's a uh, it's it's an impossible somehow an impossible way to it's impossible to do because there is limited means to do that unless I have a lot of money and go to the U.S. and enroll. But because of the global communication, um, the information is shared with the use of technology. And so I'm able to enroll in a different college while I'm here in the Philippines. So I'm able to enroll in a college in the U.S. while I'm here in the Philippines. So that makes it impossible that makes it possible through globalization also virtual assistant jobs this may be familiar to you you may know someone who's working as a virtual assistant where employees from developing countries work with companies in north america or europe providing ad administrative support other business services that can easily be conducted over the phone or via internet so globalization and global communication have made it easier to see people on the other side of the world as neighbors instead of a stranger from a faraway land. There is so much knowledge about our countries and cultures available online, and that's no longer a complete mystery. I have a friend, a Korean friend. I have an Irish friend. I have, I have friends from different nationalities because well, I, I traveled and I met them while I was traveling. And because of technology, I'm still able to keep in touch with them. So it's no longer a mystery. They're not anymore a stranger. Before, our friends are just located within our neighborhood. Now our friends are around the globe. So that's very different. And globalization, so being having said that, globalization widened our circle. We can communicate with many people around the world. 
On the other side of the positive impact of globalization, it somehow affected the way we communicate within our neighborhood. The positive impact is that we are able to widen our circle, right? We're able to widen our circle. We are able to communicate with many people around the world. However, the other side, other impact of it is that that's what I, as what I've said, it affected how we communicate with our inner circle, with our families and with our neighborhood. People back then used various physical methods to create a bond, but today things have turned digital and all teenagers, even adults, are cherishing their lives by showing a different life on the media, on the walls of social media. They've shown that they're um, it's somehow fake, um, well, maybe not all, but some, fake um, life in social media. But in reality, they're sad. They don't have real friends. So that's one of the impacts. Also, there was a time back then when our aunties would plan to visit and shop in local markets together with, together and would discuss every problem of this world. This might have been fishy, but today, online shopping have broken this urge to meet and shop together because it's too easy to shop online with just one click. And also, it renders into sedentary lifestyle. Wala na ilakaw-lakaw si auntie or si mama or maybe ikaw. Wala na because everything is shopped online. And this is one of the biggest impact. Letters were so beautiful before. People would enjoy the joy of writing with a sense of engaging their hands in papers, which today is replaced by key buttons. I remember when I was in elementary or during the Girl Scout, uh, Boy Scout event, we've created friendships with, with the other schools and then we ask for their addresses so we can send letters to them after the Girl Scout, Boy Scout meeting. And so we write letters and send it to them via post snail mail. And it was fun. And we also receive a reply from them. And it was a joy receiving a handwritten letters. But now, wala na. Text messages, calls, and ana. So it's different. We have, however... We cannot just eliminate the uh, globalization, global communication, but because we know how important it is, especially in our economic growth. But we have to improve with what intentions and for what purpose we communicate in order to facilitate most effective use of our new globally integrated and interdependent conditions. We'll make it as our tool to success and not a weapon to kill us slowly, right? So it is um, be an intelligent user of your smartphones or your social media or the technology.